Hi, this is Dan Heisman, Philly Tutor for Chess FM, and this is the Improve Your Chess video series for ICC members. In today's video, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to look at an over the board game that was played by an ICC member. The time limit was 36 moves in 90 minutes, followed by sudden death in 30. So let's get looking at the game. White opens up d4, black plays knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3. Um, knight f3 is starting to become a little bit more popular at the grandmaster level since computers have tended to indicate that uh, black is fairly equal in Nimzo Indians. Speaking of which, there's bishop b4, Nimzo Indian, classical line, castles, and now the main line for white is to play a3. Uh, white can also play the rarer e4. In this game, white played bishop g5. So I looked in uh, the book by Quality Chess, Challenging the Nimzo Indian by Vigorito, and uh, they didn't even mention this move. So I gave it to the Stockfish 8, which is, of course, one of the best engines in the world, and I analyzed it for a while, and the computer basically said that bishop g5 was a very reasonable move. Um, I can give you a couple lines. For instance, black can play h6, challenging the bishop right away. White has a choice of taking the knight and going for the center. For instance, bishop takes, queen takes, and e3. Or white can try to keep the pressure on with bishop h4. Now black has two moves. He can play c5, in which case pawn takes... And if queen a5, bishop takes f6, g takes f6, h4, computer thinks white's better. Um, black can also play d5, in which case white should probably just play c takes d, e takes d, e3 with a normal kind of white opening advantage. So bishop g5 in that move order is not that bad. So back to the game. Uh, after bishop g5... Uh, black played d5 right away, reasonable. White plays e3. And now we'd expect to move like c5 to try to break up the center. Instead, black plays the semi-slav-like move, c6, which gives this game kind of a different flavor than it would if he tried the break move, c5. All right, so there's no pressure on white here, and white should develop normally with knight f3 and then bishop d3 with a nice little advantage. However, white plays the very strange move, knight 1 on to e2. Why is this strange? Because when there's already a pawn on c6 and black takes the pawn on c4, black can hold that pawn. He can play b5, and white doesn't even have a pawn on e4 like he would in a Slav gambit. So here, black's move, d takes c4, is the correct idea. White doesn't even try to move the knight. He just plays e4. Here the computer suggests maybe the right move order for black is h6, bishop h4, and then bishop e7 with the idea of maybe playing b5, and black's better. Um, instead, black plays bishop e7 right away. Reasonable. And here the computer suggests white should play rook to d1. Instead, he plays e5, giving up control of the d5 square. So black's game is improving here. Knight d5. Bishop takes e7. Queen takes e7. And white plays knight g3. So white's now threatening bishop takes c4. And there's two ways black can meet this. He can just play b5, which is perfectly reasonable. Or he can first attack the queen with knight to b4. And then he can attack the d4 pawn, depending on what white does, with a move like rook d8. And either way, white's not getting his pawn back so fast, and black just has a nice advantage here. Black, not realizing he's been given this golden opportunity, uh, instead just, co just continues developing and plays knight.